Good morning, Almaro. I'm Irma. And I'm Josh. And today is Thursday, March 21st, and it's now time for your morning announcements. Here's what's going on around AHS. Any student interested in running for SCA or class officer may pick up the forms from Ms. Key and Guidance. There are several cases of pertussis, also known as whooping cough, in the 10th grade. Symptoms of whooping cough include a cough lasting more than two weeks or a cough lasting less than two weeks that increases in severity. Other symptoms include coughs that occur in fits or spasms, coughing fits accompanied by gasping for breath, or coughing that causes gagging or vomiting. Whooping cough is highly contagious, so administration is asking that you do not come to school until you have consulted your physician for diagnosis and treatment. See nurse chances if you have further questions. There will be an AP registration list located in guidance office room 103 for students who have registered to take an AP exam. Please stop by to confirm your registration before final processing no later than Thursday, March 28th. Starting this weekend, no parking is allowed in the junior-senior parking lot from 10 p.m. on Fridays through 6 p.m. on Sundays because of motorcycle safety classes. Any cars left in the lot will be towed at the owner's expense. Here's an update on dual enrollment placement testing at AHS. Due to broken computers in the Dell Lab, only 22 students per day may take a placement test. Please take any required test ASAP in order to ensure a seat. These English and math placement tests are offered now through next Friday. The placement tests are offered here as a convenience for our students. You are not required to take the test here, as your dual enrollment handouts explain. If you have further questions, see your counselor or Ms. Garnett. If you are planning on attending the field trip to Hello Dolly at the Ford Theater, please look at the drama board. There has been an important change in the field trip information. And in sports news, congrats to the varsity girls soccer team on their overtime victory against Massaponics last night. Maggie Tuberty scored the opening goal with an assist from Carmen Thomas. In overtime, Carmen Thomas nodded the game-winning goal with an assist from Maggie Tuberty. The girls will travel to Mountain View Friday or another tough district game. Good luck, ladies. All wrestlers who are wrestling freestyle or plan on competing next year for Albemarle should be attending strength sessions Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. This is a vital aspect of the sport and moving towards becoming a champion. See Coach Plowman if you have questions. The varsity softball team beat North Stafford last night 3-2. Emily McAllister and Lindsey Chaney both had a great night on the mound and at the plate. Tyler Collar fouled off eight pitches before driving in the go-ahead run. The team improves to 3-1 on the season and will host Mountain View tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. That's it for your morning announcements. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day Almaro. Al